<laughs> I want to welcome everyone to episode 45. That is right, right? We didn't just like skip 44 on accident because <laughs> that sounds like something we would do. Uh, no, there was an episode 44. Sweet. I can count. So, yeah, welcome everyone to episode 45 of T-Force RPG. It's a long story, a custom D&D game uh, brought to you by the Trinity Force Network. Um, I am your DM, LaShock, and we're... This is the now second group of characters since five episodes in, since our the initial TFAPs uh, TPK'd. Uh, <laughs> re, uh, unrest in pieces. Um, and You've done a we... bad thing to us. You've done a real bad thing to us. <laughs> so... Uh, as we're barking on here into our 45th episode, so this is, we're well past 100 recorded hours of us talking to each other. How does everyone feel about that, by the way? Constipated. That's fantastic. What? <laughs> Happy uh, to be a part of 12. There, there is more wanna... than 100 hours of us talking to each other recorded on the internet now. I feel like, I feel like we've been taking this too slow. We need to uh, go ahead and speed this up, this relationship. I don't... Otherwise, I feel like I need to go see other campaigns. Wait, is anyone else? <laughs> no one is wearing pants now, right? We've at least gotten that far. Wait, I can, I can hang I on. I thought hang pants on. were always optional. Oh, oh God. <laughs> is, is, this, is this stream legal? Um, I mean, it's not in camera. I mean, uh, the, the people listening no to this can't see All right. Excellent. We, we, we <laughs> now um, are, are, are led to believe that Blackhawk is no longer wearing pants. Um, <laughs> No, we don't Thank need proof. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> he has shown us the discarded pants. I'm luckily, not wearing pants. Luckily, Fuck we are still stream legal, and we have not seen Blackhawk's ass on stream. We and we're all strikes. thankful for it. Fuck you. I'll take up two of them. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways. Strike uh, that ass. <clears throat> anyway, so where we left off last week, the group had adventured off into the forest following tracks of lizard men where they discovered a her, a scene of mass carnage of uh, an old temple seemingly guarded by some elves um, had been assaulted and slaughtered by the grayscale lizard folk tribe. Um, they just brought massive numbers and seemed to have overwhelmed them. The group found a uh, interesting room of uh, a beautiful mosaic made of many precious metals and gems and then follow the trail down to a hidden room in the cellar that contained these gorgeous, gorgeous dragon statue picture that Latino drew for us. Um, anyways, um, and they discovered that one of them was missing and that this is a some sort of magical um, orb gifted by a creature known as Rakan, um, and that it can be used to somehow fight against dragons of their colors. The group then proceeded to head back to town, and they found a message waiting from them by a messenger calling himself Andolus the Dread. And everyone is glaring at me on the webcam right now. So... Where we were leaving off the game last week is everybody was then spending the next day tending to some things as they went about calling Zax, the lizard folk, the green scale lizard folks, and the townspeople together for a meeting in the evening. So, going against the cardinal rule of D&D, let us split the party. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. Um, <clears throat> so... We're going to go here and real quick through what everyone's doing, and then everyone's got their, their, their sort of moment here. Um, Bones, we're going to start with you. Uh, you told me that your plan was to go off and use the discarded parts of the other lizard folk that you found and make weapons out of them. Is that correct? So he's still finding a way to fucking utilize dead things. You never think <laughs> this is a this is actually a lizard folk racial ability. It's called cut in artisan, actually. <laughs> uh, you want to explain that to me? Because like I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one who's lost here. <laughs> Please. Essentially, what I'm going to be doing to these bones is I'm going to be making uh, four shields, uh, four javelins, and 
two little blow gun needles as well as the main blow gun and just passing along to various uh, people left and right the blow guns i want to give well i want to speak to uh garrett's children actually oh, how no. how <laughs> durbles uh how durbles are shields though by the way all this stuff is kind of um well makeshift they all function but uh how durable questionable but they work they're just makeshift and may have to be repaired often oh so while everybody else is out going about um you go and track down the the children that garrick normally watch as they are uh been sorting through driftwood and such down by the uh the shore <clears throat> uh, there uh, you meet with Sam, Arthur, Brahmin, Aranol, and George. Okay, not going to remember those names. <laughs> That's okay, I got you. Uh, they, you know, look up uh, at your approach and are... They, they're, they're used to seeing you and others because Garrick is always dealing with weapons and trading them off to your tribe. Uh, the oldest Sam, she kind of steps forward and goes... Oh, uh, hey, Bones, uh, how, how, what's up? Ah, little ones, over here for a second. Uh, oh, oh, over, uh, okay. Um, she kind of steps closer to you, looking a little wary. Ah. You're, you're, you're not going to eat us, right? Not yet, no. <laughs> I will oh. wait when you are older. Uh. <laughs> she looks very concerned. <laughs> that was a joke in my culture. Never ah. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Um. Anywho, uh, here, look what I made for you. As I show them the two uh, blowguns are made out of bones, <laughs> and I just just show it. Ah, uh, th thanks? Ah, uh, it's... These are strange times ahead, and you hatchlings must learn how to defend yourself. The Woody will not teach you, but I will demonstrate how to shoot things in p other people's buttockses. <laughs> what? Why? <laughs> So, cue montage of Balasar Bones, the lizard folk, teaching the five young children of Garrick how to use blow darts and giving them to them. Um, I can only imagine that there's like some sort of Home Alone vibe going on here. Um, I don't, I don't even know. Uh, but you spend some time. And they're they're thankful. It's a fun game, uh, as they set up some driftwood and use it for target practice. Um, All right. Feeling accomplished, you go back and sit down to your ritual as you are preparing to meditate on pray to Ulithar before consuming the hand of your old master. Yep. <clears throat> so, you pre how, how do you prepare your ritual to Ulithar? Um, I, what remaining bones that I have of the grayscales and the shaman components that I picked up in that one little, uh, tribe, I'm just setting up, like, a basic, like, triangle, like, formation around it, and in the center is the hand, and I just begin, uh, casting with a few just torches around it as well, I just get on, on all fours and begin just and Draconic to start chanting just a few passages that the mountain has taught me throughout time, and so on and so forth. Okay. <clears throat> um, would you roll me a straight wisdom check, please? Yeah. All right. Stop making me roll I thought stuff. that's a good one. I know, but I don't want to roll. <laughs> I just want to win D&D. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Uh, you, you know, Balasar is not smart enough to win D and D. He misspells it and just win Dixies. Um, well, luckily, I won this time around because at, I got a seventeen plus three twenty. Oh, baby! So 
you <clears throat> begin and you go through the ritual saying the ceremonial hisses and shrieks um <laughs> I just really wanted to say ceremonial hisses and shrieks. Please bear with me. Uh, as you pray to Thar, and at the completion of it, and the you take the mountain's hand and just eat it like it's Jimmy John's. Uh, <laughs> like they're chicken oh fingers. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, as you do and you consume it um it tastes unlike anything you've ever had before for one thing um and it still tastes pretty fresh i think it's the gentle oh, repose yeah. spell um and then you feel kind of overtaken with this sense of like warmth and power welling from up within your stomach um and your eyes kind of roll back into your head and you feel yourself kind of almost separate from your body. Oh, it's a hallucinogenic lizard <laughs> hand. You, 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 <laughs> you float up. Um, you look over yourself. You float away and you see all of the lands before you. You see the tribes. You see uh, the, the broken forests. You see the ocean. Um, you kind of look back over your shoulder and there you see looking directly at you is this giant disembodied ethereal lizard folk head and you feel the presence of Ulafar upon you. In this moment you are almost overwhelmed and not know what to think and it gestures as you look back down over the land that you've known your whole life. And you see little tiny dot, like glowing dots of blue showing scattered all over. Um, and uh, the voice speaks to you. <clears throat> you have done well, young one. But before you can receive my full blessing, you must consume the rest. And that that, you feel yourself pulled back down into your body. And you wake standing around your sit sitting in your circle, having just devoured the tastiest morsel you've ever had. And you feel like that you have just been shown something from Ulfar, and maybe not certain exactly what it means yet. Or maybe you do. Uh, before that, can I just like, just pick up, like, a stick and just, like, map out where I saw all the blue dots. Like, make a rough sketch. <laughs> uh, give me like, an intelligence God. roll. God damn it. <laughs> oh, yeah, let's go. I know where this oh. is. Five. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. So you begin to quickly try and attempt to draw a map. Um, and, you know, it's makes sense a bit to you. It's where you saw the lights, and it's a rough shape. Um, anyone else walking by might think, oh, that's cute. Uh, is that your kid's drawing that you put up <laughs> on your refrigerator? Um, did, <laughs> did they make that with macaroni? Um, <laughs> it makes sense to you, but not to anyone else. <clears throat> okay. Sorry. Um, uh, uh, and go forth uh, and find the hammer back amongst with your people with his mate Crocs and her great shoes and <laughs> <laughs> no 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 that's the name of his ex-wife Ugg you know <laughs> Ugg lives in the pit now. I could not handle it. Uh, don't forget his mistress pumps. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, and you catch up um, the hammer on what you guys found deeper in the woods. Um, 
he is thankful for your information and asks you to assist him in gathering the tribe uh, kind of like you get to sound the ceremonial horn Ooh. <laughs> this is your moment <laughs> This is what your entire life is culminating. Everything. Well, ne Everything. Ne ne never say this is your moment, at least to critical failure. <laughs> um, I'm ready to walk away from my character now after this. <laughs> as you summon the, the tribe, as he begins to inform everyone and then get ready for the meeting with the soft skins later. Okay. Um, soft skin. <clears throat> <laughs> We cut. No, no, wait. Before, just so other people okay. know, we can we can just do like a montage of this. But essentially, what I also did, I cast Continual Flame on a orb, and I stuck it in between the bear head jaws. So now it's kind of like a lantern. Every time I just turn like the jaws in and out, sort of like, <laughs> sort of like. Oh, you I made was... a fucking light for your. Yeah. I was honestly just going to not say anything until you revealed it to the party because it was going to be humorous, but yes, that <laughs> is another thing he did. I what? I don't even... All right. And then the other two things I quickly did, I went over to Zax's and I cast Lesser Restoration on him. It did not... And I was going to get to that because you were going to run into Asheron while you were there. Okay. So we will catch up to that. I have remembered everything that everyone has told me they want to do, and I will up will catch that when you guys are intersecting. Okay, good. Oh, so um, you remembered all the things I told you that I was doing this week. Right? That's a lot of things. You mean <laughs> you, 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 yes? You mean the remembering to level up your character five minutes before the stream? There it is. <laughs> <laughs> I cheer at it. I did. Um, Swashbuckle the fuck out of that. Then uh, see the the trick is updating your character sheet while you're playing and everybody else is doing stuff. <laughs> I've never done anything like that. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> and then we'll just go over the dagger and the necklace later. Yeah, uh, you have been crafting and making things. All right. Um. <clears throat> meanwhile, elsewhere across the the town, back at Elmshire. Uh, we kind of cut to Olivier uh, in the makeshift little private room that, just, that he's rigged up for himself as a small tent um, going through his belongings. Um, yep. You have thoughts, you know? <clears throat> you kind of tried to get away from everything and just tried to help people and heal, be useful in that way. Um, as you begin unpacking your something you thought that you would never need to use again. Uh, as you dig deep into your packs and pull out house call and second opinion. <laughs> um, they're <clears throat> glittering, well-oiled, well-maintained. You're too... Brilliant firearms. Um, you've tried not to use them since they caused you to become separated with your family. Since the accident. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. Yeah. Um, you know that flashing them about might, if brings word, those people might come looking for you again. But these folks need you. So not just to heal. Well, well, at this point, if Andolis is already here, I have no choice but to start playing for keeps. Sometimes if you got to save 100 people, you just got to kill one uptight elf. Yeah. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> Are all your guns going to be medical themed? Goddamn right. They shoot I scalpel. Want, I want to hear, I want one that's dead on arrival. Oh. Second opinion. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so Second cool. opinion in house call. Just wait till like, wait till bedside manner, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm ready for colonoscopy personal. <laughs> Cardiac arrest. <laughs> all right, let's not let's not, let's not, not, not practice. Let's like, not give away all of his guns. Malpractice. Like, That's yes, a great malpractice. Now practice. Well, community college doctorate. <laughs> 
<laughs> college doctorate. He just has a sword called Crippling Dead. <laughs> <laughs> every time you swing it, you want a thousand gold. You don't owe to, but you lose it every day. <laughs> uh, so, was there anything else that you wanted to get done besides uh, getting out the weapons and preparing yourself mentally? I mean, it's not going to take a whole lot of mental preparation, not going to lie. I'm already killing people anyway, so uh, I guess maybe possibly help Boss with whatever he was doing in the temple because I really don't want him going alone with Grayscale Boat. <clears throat> okay. Um, so maybe Is there any way I can like maybe buy a shield as well while I'm out and about? Maybe Blacksmith's got one on hand. I don't know. Yeah, you're able to help get it to, to get a shield. Amazing. Thank you. Um, could have easily just been one of the ones you took from the lizard folk. Whatever. You have a shield. Not too concerned. <laughs> okay. Take mine. Um, <laughs> say. So I, a couple of them. You could uh, build you could build a lizard chest bone shield palisade around the entirety of the town. <laughs> <laughs> um Garrick. You uh go and gather with your kids. One, yeah, two, you. three, four, five. They all still here. You can Yes, they're all there. You find them playing with a blowgun, um, <laughs> shooting at a piece of driftwood. Uh, um, <laughs> is that bone? No, he left a yeah. while ago. Uh, yeah, bones gave it to us. He said that uh, we might need to fight. That looks like the case. Um, things go bad. I want you all to use the tunnel in the uh, in the tavern. Head out to the ruins and then head to the forest. If you follow the path, you should find an old elven temple. Um, I'll meet you there if anything goes wrong. Uh, keep each other safe. Sam puts on her brave face, um, as she's done many times before. Little George kind of waddles up and tugs on your tugs on your leg. I kind of kneel down and, and give him a hug and give each one of them <clears throat> hugs. Uh, are are there monsters coming? Are you gonna protect us from the monsters? Yeah, I will. Kept you safe up until this point. I ruffled her, her head. <clears throat> the uh, George kind of smiles and looks back at Aranol and said, "See, I told you, Garrick's gonna slay the monsters." I'll slay the monsters. Um, Sam guys, and back up. Keep an eye on Garrick. Uh, We'll be safe. Um, before, before you, I leave, um, I don't know how soon I'll be back. I just then I'll cast Goodberry one more time and give them each one. Um, <laughs> if you guys need something to eat within the next day, have that. Um, they uh, <clears throat> pocket the Goodberries and, and says, "We'll stick with the rest of the town and uh, go to the tunnel if need be." Elf Temple in the forest. I'm gonna head off there now and see how safe it is. Just imagine there's one kid, just real quick. <laughs> there's one kid who's just like kind of like not really with the group, and he like turns, he's like, fucking good berries again! I've only been able to do this for, I've only been able to do this for two days. You can't complain Why about not it. Why not good strawberries? <laughs> I'm just saying some foliage. Grapes. Kill an animal. I mean, I know you're old, but kill something. <laughs> I need a how about, steak. <laughs> how, about, how about some good humor? I got berries. no meat on my bones. <laughs> I want that ice cream, Dad. Who <laughs> else gonna eat us? I need nourishment. I can't, I can't pay for ice cream. Oh. It's paying off the farm. There's only ten calories. <laughs> <laughs> There's only 10 calories in those things. They're anorexic. 
<laughs> Actually, it keeps them um, nourished for the whole day. Yeah, they're oh, fully nourished. Yeah, it's, it's not it's, happy about it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just nothing oh. about liquid. They're very, very hydrated. <laughs> <laughs> They're actually, it's actually, he just hands them a, a packet of Gushers, like. <laughs> All right, split these up. You one pack, one for each of you. Oh. <laughs> um, so Garrett goes, so you're going off with, you, you, so just to get this straight, you're telling your kids to go through the tunnel that leads to the lizard folk ruins and then go into the, the woods to find the lost elven temple. In case things go to shit, yeah. Got it. In case things go to shit. Absolutely. And I know. What? I, I, he also said to follow the path. I don't remember there being a necessary path. <laughs> <laughs> they might know. They're kids. They must uh, shit. Uh, roll yeah, for you know, just uh, go past the big giant stone golem that might still be active. I, I need you to make a, a parent of the year check. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no. That rolled outside. Oh, a six. <laughs> <laughs> accurate. Accurate. Yeah. yeah. In his defense, that's a higher roll than last year. <laughs> Every year uh, progress, oh. children. Every year progress. <laughs> so, um, as you go off to also go to the to the temple, apparently with Olivier Boss, um, and um, so Sig, <clears throat> you're. Kind of hanging back for a moment, watching everybody do their thing. Um, and as you see, boss is getting ready to head off into the woods to uh, go back to the temple. And you think back for a minute to the, the stories your mom used to tell you about how the thing, way things were back when people were good, back when they were heroes. You know, the shit you never believed because the world is shit. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but you kind of look around and reflect on the people around you. And it just makes you think about that which you're carrying with you. And you, as you said, you decide that you're going to go accompany Boss as he goes and does his thing in the, the <clears throat> woods. So, um, Boss, you've gone off back to that temple because you were going to give a proper burial to all of the elves present. Right. And get all the lizard folk out and basically start a big pyre. Wasn't that right? Yeah, yeah. I uh, I just want to get rid of those bodies somehow. Um, I figured that's a quick way to do it. Give them to me. That, I don't I don't want the I don't want the other lizards coming back and eat. <laughs> fuck, fuck them eating their dead. <laughs> so you uh you go through, and you are putting the elves to rest. Um, you're piling up the lizard folk, um, and thinking a lot about what all this means to you. Uh, and as you uh, light the fire and start burning the bodies, and you go back into the, the temple. Um, just look back towards the temple. You, a, a, a voice um, shouts out to you from in the woods. Well, that's the right good thing you done there. I look towards the voice. Um, this large, burly, um, graying man uh, in all like animal furs kind of comes walking out the brush calmly, looking at you. <clears throat> kind of folds his arms. Do I know who this is? No, never seen this man before in your life. Uh, Am I there or no? Not yet. <laughs> All right. Uh, who might you be? <clears throat> I'm someone else that cares about stuff like this, people like this. But it seems I was too late to get here to help. Did you but, know any of these individuals? Not personally. But my master told me to come check on them. Your master? He looks, <laughs> he looks you up and down. <laughs> I think you know. 
They call me Hellbrick. God damn me. it. Yeah. God damn yeah. it. <laughs> All right, and inform everybody out in the fucking, world. Yeah, full circle. You need some content here. Uh, you let the people on Twitch land know, and the people who listen to the podcast, who are you talking about? Um, I mean, we can go into all that, but uh, this is reuniting with actually... How long ago was this? Is this like two, three years at this point? It's been a while. It's been forever. Yes. Yeah. Oh my Helbrick God. Bjornsson, well, also known as the Bear Son, um, yeah. was <laughs> Chira's very first character that he played in my campaigns before the podcast oh my God. Yeah. and at the end of that when he and a group of others helped free he woke up rockin he woke from, him up. <laughs> from an imprisonment he asked to go with him to learn his ways and then a mountain appeared and then a mountain appeared <laughs> <laughs> um <clears throat> Wrote down old man Bjorn Helbrick then or Helbrick Bjornson and I can't fucking handle this. <laughs> oh, I, you know what? You 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 son of a bitch. <laughs> I don't even know where to go from here. Um He takes he, he you you do actually kind of feel oddly at ease around this man. I'm um, sure I fucking do. Sounds <laughs> <laughs> like you know him. Yeah, it's weird being on the other side of this. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, you know, since you're out of loss for words, we can narrate this, but if you come to your senses... Oh, I, I got it. All right. <clears throat> All right. Well, then, what do I need to do? You gotta protect things like this. You gotta protect the old ways. <sighs> All right. Would He's no mind? god. The if anything, if the voice has a planet. It's him. The planet has a voice. Holy fucking shit! What did I just do? Yeah, I, just dyslexic, planet, planet. I just dyslexic. I just dis the planet. I just dyslexia my own sentence. Thank you, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Well, we'll fix it in post. <laughs> <That's> no, <fine. laughs> no, we won't. <laughs> Let's be real. <laughs> if the planet had a voice. It's him. Yep. Yes. How and old is he? That's a real good question. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And I think I know what I need to do. And I'm going to walk back into the bowl. He goes with you. And away from the other, from the eyes of the rest of the world. He gives you the words and the ways as you swear your oath to the ancients and the, the old ways. But which room do you do it in? Uh, I will going to do it. Which room had uh, a bigger effigy of Rockin? Uh, definitely upstairs in the mural. Then that's where I'll do it. Mm. So <clears throat> he, you know, takes it there, through it. Um, speaks like not necessarily words, but he says things that kind of like reverberate, and it's like knowledge is entered into your mind and wisdom. Um, and with that, you kneel and say your oath and close your eyes and meditate on pretty much what all this means to you. And when you open up, the, the man calling himself Helbrick is gone. And sitting in front of you on the ground is a small leaf made of gold attached to a chain as if to be worn around the neck. Well, I will take that and put it on. It feels right. Um, about this moment, a, uh, I don't want to say concerned, but, you know, um, 
Sig, you followed him and kind of hung of back. Of fucking and, course you did. And uh, you, you know watched. What? I, in my head, I had that. I fucking knew that's exactly what was going to happen. And I was just waiting. I was like, oh, maybe I'll end up doing a perception check to see what's going on. But no, fucking course Sig's going to be there. <laughs> didn't make any plans. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> um, and you kind of watch all this happen. Uh, and as wrapping up, uh, you, you have sounds of Olivier and Garrick coming up the uh, path of destruction behind you as uh, Boss comes walking out of the temple um, looking pretty purposely driven by purpose and <laughs> and there's a giant pile of flaming lizard men <laughs> <laughs> this place was already consecrated and we just consecrated it some more um, there's one last thing I wanted to do before I, we leave the temple too. Uh, you said last time we were here that there was like a significant amount of like food and rations downstairs. Yes. I would like to take as much as I can and try and get the others to take as much as they can as food back for the town to kind mm -hmm. of like ease things for everyone since it's not like they're going to be able to farm and do other stuff. That way they don't need to worry about, um, food and and other things while we potentially make preparations to defend elmshire can we make that how sig reveals himself to boss like he does the whole ritual and like doesn't interrupt and then he goes downstairs to the food and is like going through it and then sig comes up behind and goes want some help with that <laughs> yes absolutely where, where the hell did you come from <clears throat> well i mean the front door oh. it, it was open it was weird wow. i thought we closed that how uh how long there is no here? front door <laughs> yeah it's just a a hole in the yeah hole. <laughs> no, not very long i just um you know wanted to make sure that uh bones didn't come back and try to take anything i mean he's cool and all but be shitty if he ran off with something that looks so precious to you i uh Jeez, I, I actually really appreciate that. That is extremely thoughtful for someone your age. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Oh I come from a place God. where shit gets stolen from me all the time and others. So, I mean, I'd hate to see it happen to someone I like. Uh, where, where would that be? Oh, you know, around. He, like, <laughs> grabs a sack of food and is like, okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Enough about me. <laughs> I'm just gonna I'm just gonna look down at the holy symbol and be like oh, I really hope you have a plan for for how we're gonna end up solving all these worldly issues when I'm running around with with all of these misfits <laughs> <laughs> hey now I wouldn't necessarily call myself a misfit oh I yeah I hear where I need to go. <laughs> <laughs> what <laughs> Oh, is everybody me. else just gonna start walking in the door of this sacred place? <laughs> and then Garrick walks in. Oh, of course. Of course. There's I another see. spear in him somehow. We don't know how it got. <laughs> oh. I was trying to run here and I fell over from exhaustion. <laughs> um, I also want to make sure that the uh, the orb room is closed up and at least make an attempt to hide its location so nobody else can walk in there and potentially get screwed over by yeah. those orbs screw okay. the children <laughs> uh, I mean I'd like to study those orbs at some point in time they may be uh, they might be useful in the future well I mean we can always come back but at least this yeah. way if somebody else stumbles upon this place they're not going to run into it and either utilize the orbs for bad reasons or uh, get tricked in themselves oh you're no fun but alright <laughs> Speaking of which, boss, I've recommended my kids if things go south in the village to take the tunnel to their lizard rooms and come here if they can. I think we should bring that up as a plan to the rest of the town as well. I I mean, if if you're thinking this could be a bastion uh, or a potential place for a last stand, it might be. But considering uh, the grayscales have been here before and... I guess to a certain extent it was successful other than the former inhabitants are all dead. Um, this is only a temporary place to stay until that, we can move on somewhere else. That's my thought. If things go to shit in the town, we're just going to have to cut and run. So we need to meet up here if possible. 
All right, just use this as sort of a retreat location, I guess. Meet here, then leave. That makes sense. So you guys uh, seal up and cover up the room. You grab as much food and such as you can carry and uh, start making your way back to town. As we're going there, I want us to like, make small marks on the trees and stuff with the dagger, just to kind of point the way through. Um, so Thanks. that if other people are running this way, you know, if they don't see a big pyre uh, in the forest, um, they can find their way here easily. I also, okay. um, while we're on our way back, I want to try and see if I can find, um, like an owl or, um, oh God. like look for some sort of large, likely intelligent bird, um, something that could probably fly like a great distance. Okay. Um, give me a perception check. Okay. Is that's an eighteen? Um, <clears throat> yeah. As you're passing back through there, uh, you're not able to spot any owls. There's too much of the daylight remaining. Yeah. Um, but I mean, like right. a like a big like a raven or any any sort of like you, large intelligent mm -hmm. looking bird. You are able to, to to find. Um, <laughs> To, as you're nearing the other, you're able to find a, a hawk of sorts sitting there. Okay. Perched in a tree looking over the, the field at the edge of the woods. Obviously, like, looking out for some rabbit or smaller bird to go snatch up. All right. Um, I am going to... Uh, I'm going to cast Don't Speak with Animals. Okay. I'm doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm going to cast Speak with Animals, and then while that's going, I am going to use my message cantrip. If this works, um, can I speak to the hawk via message with Speak with Animals? Um, give I mean, me a I, moment while I figure that out <laughs> for you. Uh, in, in the meantime, did you guys just leave uh, the funeral pyre burning? <laughs> I'm not worried about it. You guys, Smokey Again, Bear hates you. Defender hates of you nature all. sets it on fire. Sets <laughs> all of it on fire. I Only mean, you can prevent forest fire. I, mean, I, I, I assumed, I assumed that like I set it up in an area probably close enough. Give to me the a survival check. It's not gonna. Okay, in the on. middle of the path of destruction. <laughs> Show me how well you know how to make a a, a safe uh, funeral. Oh, boy. Jeez, oh, this good. is a mistake. And I'm going to end up spending the rest of the episode putting this thing out. Hey. Yep. yep, there's nine. <laughs> My oh. memeing is going to get everybody killed. <laughs> no, I love it. Okay. This is what D&D &D is. <laughs> this is. This right I here. I hate this game. I hate this game so much. Good intent followed by bad consequences. You yep. know, part of my planning was, like, for this week was coming up with these, like, moments that were supposed to be like really intricate to each other characters like motivation and serious i thought oh shit i forgot about the jokes i forgot how <laughs> strong the jokes will come in <laughs> well at least it'll be easier for your kids to find the place <laughs> <laughs> yeah lost it looks like is... not not to like short you know, as like far as i can tell yeah this combination yeah. of uh speak with animals and, and message, uh, works. Uh, message works okay um, cool now, uh, also for the record, because you were gushing earlier about uh, it, speak of animals being a ritual spell. Paladins don't get ritual casting. That's fine. Just letting you know, so you know. No, no, I, I, did, well, I, I casted it. I casted it regular anyway, so it didn't really yeah. matter. Just yeah, just making sure that you're aware. <laughs> yeah, well, I figured like it's a hawk, so it's not exactly tied down to this location <laughs> for very long. So I'm not going to spend ten minutes doing that. <laughs> <laughs> No, wait, wait, wait. Cassie's Cass Cass bet just hold on a second. I can talk to you. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, um, you cast the spell and then message to it. Um, All right. I, what I would like to say is uh, um, I there bird, great hawk, hunter of the forest. I have a favor to ask, and I know that you don't necessarily, you can't necessarily trust me, but it might be beneficial for you if you do. Why are you pointing at that hawk? Give me a persuasion roll. And if he comes over here, then we can actually chat, chat. Uh, where's persuasion? It's a nice That's a 24. 
Ooh, damn. damn. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, Olivia like uh, as Bosville points Speaks towards Cats and goes. Ah! <laughs> um, oh no, not more of this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the hawk comes, flaps over, and lands like on your outstretched arm. Ooh! And says, "What can I do for you?" <laughs> I decided that every, every animal... single thing I interact with is gonna sound just like me. This is great. <laughs> <laughs> this is my hell. This is I, this is my hell. Um, every animal will communicate with bones, like well, bones. his unique way. But every animal will speak in a bad Scottish accent to you. Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, I, I, know where I, stand. Back, I had to go back and re-listen to the old uh, sessions so I could have uh, some inspiration for Helbrick's uh, voice. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, I, I did it a little more gruff for that one, uh, but let's yeah. see for this. Um, all right, I have a couple things I need to talk with you about. First of all, have you seen any gray lizards? Massing in any of the areas around here? There was a bunch that went through not long ago. I, I know the location that they went to, but I'm trying to find the location that they're currently amassing because they're planning on attacking a nearby town. Um, I have, I have an offer for you. Is there anything that you would necessarily like from the woodlands? Is there an animal that you would like to consume? Is there a favor that I could do for you if you are willing to do a favor for me in finding where this mass of gray lizards is meeting up? Because if possible, we're planning on dealing with them so that they're no longer a threat to this area. Uh, give me another persuasion roll. That's an 11. Well, I don't know how far up they go. I don't see them massing in my rangings for looking for food. Um, Is there anything that you would be willing to go a little outside of your rangings? Can't go leaving my nest that far. Somebody else will come and take it. But what I do know is my cousins and brothers, they say not to fly too far north. Things will haunt you. Do they say what kind of things? Things with pointed sticks. Right. Well, that is some beneficial information. Um... Is there a... Uh, how do I put this? If you run into any of them, um, how how do you ever find yourself coming close to the town? Is it east of here? Is Elmshire east of here? Yes. Southeast of here? Uh, do you ever northeast, find... Actually. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, do you ever find yourself coming anywhere close to the northeast near the, the, the settlement that's over there? Is that within your ranging? I try to stay away from the people. There's lots of open fields. Much easier catching. All right. Um, the spell's uh, starting to wind down. Well, thank you very much for your information. If there's anything that you might need from me and you see me anywhere, I'll be frequenting the woods quite a bit in the near future. Um... <laughs> Just come down and uh, and get my attention. I, I am no threat to you. Um, I can't guarantee that I will be able to talk to you every single time, but if I can, uh, I will I will do so. And I owe you a favor, friend. Ah, safe hunting to you. And he flaps and flies away. And as he flies away, I just want to send like one final message, like thank uh, good hunting to you too. So, Olivier, you heard. Ah, 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 ah. That was the longest conversation I've ever am, had with a bird. Am I the only person here who just can't talk to any sort of wandering animal? I feel like I'm the only not uh, Disney princess in this group. <laughs> <laughs> I can't talk to them, but 
I generally know how they feel. Great. We made our You're one the quota. In the group. Our one quota. <laughs> one quota of speak with animals every freaking episode, hey. apparently. <laughs> we can check my uh, Hey, if you muscle. can do it. You're gonna do it. <laughs> hey, so what was that all about, boss? Uh, I was trying to get some of the local fauna to help tell us where our quarry will be. And that hawk over there told us, or told me, that uh, the grayscales are to the north, which we kind of already knew, but um, at least that confirms the direction that we'll need to go to find them. Well, if you didn't see them in the area of, that's at least a good sign. So, yeah, they're, they're not they're not in the immediate vicinity, which is a good thing. All right, well, let's get back to town. I want to check on Zax. I didn't do that yet today. I got to see how that wig's mending. Okay. Meanwhile, back at the ranch. I mean, uh, meanwhile, back at the plot. I mean, um, <laughs> uh, Asheron. You uh, take a quick stop and go to your office, quote unquote, which you've been letting people rest in just to make sure you gather up all of your little, you realize, notes and other things you had sitting around. Um, as you kind of look down at the little list of names and possibilities and <clears throat> names like Caligros and locations of myth and rumor locations of other dragons that you've been looking for someone to a figurehead for you to prop up and think about how you really want this to work with Zax. there's um, like a circle around it and little hearts next to his name <laughs> <laughs> yes so absolutely Zax, Zax plus asheron in my <laughs> There's a lipstick kiss mark, too, on top yeah. of it. Whoa. I mean, you're not wrong, uh, <laughs> but okay. Uh, so you pack up those last bits of your notes and decide that uh, you need to go talk to Zax and get him to come down for a meeting. As you're going up there, you kind of run into to Balasar making his way as well. Uh, yeah. You know. Your, your ever-present shadow, so to speak. <clears throat> Good day, Bones. Ah, chosen one. So nice to see you this sun day. Mm, Jesus. As, <laughs> as I look at the sun. <laughs> uh, yeah, it is, it is <laughs> quite sunny today. Oh, the ballast are every day is Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm on my way to see Zax now. Ah, good company. Good timing. You must have read my mind. You are clever as always, chosen one. For I was going to beseech him as well. well let's head up there now. <laughs> All right. The the completely necessary. I cast move plot along. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to need you to make a real-life charisma check, because this is obviously not working. No, okay. Um, <laughs> so, wow. <a> nine. <clears throat> so the two of you uh, head up and find Zach's, uh, you know, his normal spot on top of his the kind of villa building that he likes the sun on when he sits on the roof. Ah, Bones, Asheron. Hello, Zax. I see you are in good spirits today. <clears throat> well, it's always nice to have someone to talk to. As he kind of crawls down from up top there and to greet you. How does your wing feel today? Uh, he goes lift in. It obviously aches him. Well, I'm sure that it is healing fine. I know Olivier has been checking on you. Uh, so hopefully we'll get you back in the sky sooner rather than later. Uh, look, uh, Zax, I'm sure you saw or at least heard what happened in the village. Uh, there, we can probably see from here the giant dead tree in the center of town. He nods. Uh, 
we're gonna we're trying to gather the leaders of the lizard folk, the humans, and I think you should be there. I think it's time that you took a bigger interest in what happens here at Elmshire. You've always been a protector, but you've kind of let the Lee family guide them. I think it's time for you to take some of the reins. Uh, what, what do you mean? Well, we're going to have to make a tough decision on whether we stay here in Elmshire and try to defend ourselves against the Grayscales or whether we leave and I'm going to support whichever way you decide to go on that. I, for one, am terrified, and I think we should go. <laughs> but I don't think that the Hammer and Sarant Lee can make that decision on their own. Well... Um, give me a persuasion roll. Persuasion. Oh boy, I have to believe it's a 12. Hey. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I'm assisting by licking my eyeballs. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> what a class act. I, before I do that, I look up to the sky and I yell, Boss Vidal, guide me. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Just kidding. That's a deep cut. It is. That's a deep oh. cut. This is how you get my abilities banned. You know that, right? <laughs> <laughs> to all those who are listening, we had a long conversation in the mean, in between sessions about metagaming and such. <laughs> oh, that was... Damn it. God damn you, J.O. <laughs> yeah. um, D&D <clears throat> spirit bomb it works. D&D spirit bomb. I'm going to say it, but eventually the, uh, the inspiration will be there. <laughs> Just let us all level up and take class. Um, um, I, I don't know about that. I'm, but uh, I, will, I will come and help listen and offer what help I can. I, I want you to know I... I settled here in Elmshire, and I've talked to you about it countless times because of what good I think you can do for this town. And out there now, the Grayscales have some sort of weapon that they plan to use against you. And this is something I don't understand. I'm not sure what it does, but I know that it was crafted specifically as a defense against you. That's... Come on, what, what, what could lizard folk uh, make? It wasn't made by the lizard folk. It was made by the druids. Ah, uh, um, are those still around? Well, uh, their artifacts are at least. Oh, well. all right. I'll I'll come to then in, into the town and listen and talk what I can. And uh, <clears throat> but my wing's still busted. So I can have to walk with me. Uh, I, of course I will. Hmm. And then I, I look to Bones. I look at Asheron. Oh, okay. I thought you. Uh, I, oh, I thought you had business here, Bones. I'm sorry. Yes, I did. Did you <laughs> need something? Oh no, I'm good. Then why are you looking at me? Uh, <laughs> I was attempting to further the momentum of the podcast, but. <laughs> Chosen one. I, I agree. Look, I look away. <laughs> I look sure. away from them. <laughs> and as he does, I look back at Zax. Uh, I it appears that the pretty boy has patched you up quite effectively. Yeah, I'm right. However, I do see it needs a little bit more tuning, more woodworking, I should say. Oh my heart! <laughs> as I uh, I get I slowly like crawl closer to him, and I start I gender gingerly touch his injured wing with your tongue. He, he kind of watches you and uh, kind of looks concerned. <laughs> Don't <laughs> worry. No immediate reaction. 
Papa Papa Bones has you covered as I cast Lesser Restoration. Creepy. <laughs> ah, it's creepy. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, so you reach out, give me a wisdom check. God damn it. That's your good one. I want to yeah, win. That's a good one. Yeah, what a win. Ten? Um, you reach out and flow Ulafar's grace and divine energy through your hands and attempt to find the broken bones and mend these broken wings. Um, <laughs> we did that last week. And yeah, we did speak with animals last week too. Um, yep. <laughs> yeah, but at least that's funny. Oh, <laughs> damn. <laughs> And then burn a charge for my med well, kit. Sorry. Apparently, it was nice knowing you, Olivia. <laughs> <laughs> Let me take 1d6 burn damage. Um, uh, but the you find the injury, you know, pulsing with the injury, and you attempt to stitch the bones back together, but the, the, the breaks are many and tiny and complicated and complex, and you're just not prepared for that. My brain and explodes. You, yeah, your your brain not split, but you're not able to like actually mend the the broken limb with that casting. Mm. Well, as the mountain once said, if Ulathar's blessing does not aid you, then mud and sticks will. As I basically try to patch him up my way with my own medicine. Give me a medicine, roll. <laughs> which I'm God very, damn it. which I'm very good at. Uh, 21? <laughs> okay. Uh, you proceed to, uh, as you said, mud and sticks. Um, but you actually make a very solid, uh, reinforce the brace and make it more comfortable with some kind of, like, mud padding and, like, a bit of a poultice. And they're like, that's actually more comfortable. Um, thank you, Bones. Ah, yes, it is, a uh, mud that I found in the swamps, uh, east from here. You should check it out. All the lizard folk head over there from time to time. Uh, okay. <laughs> Are we there yet? <laughs> <laughs> Not quite. <coughs> um, so he uh, accompanies you guys back to the town um, to have your little meeting. That's really condescending. Thanks. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, you're, okay. You're, you're hey, welcome. That shows how much faith you have in us. I know, right? Uh, I, I have very low ranks in religion. Um, so, Olivier, Sig, Garrick, um, and Boss are all. You're rolling back into town carrying all this f barrels of food and other such necessities that you meant that you could as much as you could carry. Um, Garrick is, yeah, um, struggling. <laughs> I I walk up to Garrick and take the weight, all of it, from him, no, leaving him I, nothing, and emasculating him in the process if I can. <laughs> I take it one-handed. <laughs> you know, my strength's not shit; just my constitution. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> but his strength is ridiculous, um, <laughs> absurd. Uh, but yeah, you guys uh, are entering at the same time that you see. Uh, Bo Bones and Asheron, accompanying with Zax, walking back into Elmshire too. Um, Zax oh, is blunt. Olivier seems to have been adorned with some extra sticks and mud. I, 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 I what? In the <laughs> I go and inspect the splint. Give me a, a, a medicine roll. All right, that's a twenty-three. I mean, it's crude materials, but it's good work. I I don't know if that guy is the biggest idiot around or a goddamn genius. <laughs> <laughs> Olivier, I, they say uh, sticks and stones will break my bones, but sticks and mud will heal them. <laughs> I, <sighs> this, I take it back. Is this episode over? <laughs> I, this, I go away? This is why he's the chosen <laughs> one, pretty boy. <laughs> oh, my God. I... Well, there's not much I can. I don't think there's much I can do to improve this any Just further. Just smile and walk away with the. <laughs> so, 
I think I lost another point of constitution. <laughs> you, guys, <laughs> you guys get... I had to burn a grid point just to deal with that. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, this is a good moment and good timing uh, where everyone's accomplished all of this and uh, it's getting later in the day and uh, the town and the lizard folk and Zax and all of you are gathering um, around the dead tree in the middle of town. Uh, and there we're going to take a short break and we will oh, clip okay. the audio because, I mean, we're at an hour and six minutes. It's kind of really perfect timing. So Yeah, all right. That sounds clip the right. audio, export, everyone refill your drinks because uh, um, uh, please don't. Uh, and clip. Wait, is this 45? Yeah, yeah, 45. Yeah, 45. And uh, those of you in watching us live, oh, wow. Uh, we will be back in a few moments once we have rehydrated, refreshed, and all of that jazz. Meanwhile, here's some music. You've gathered everyone together. The green scales are present. Zax is present. All the town folks are present. Garrick's kids are still playing with the blow dart. Um, Ow, my ass. <laughs> <laughs> Careful, if you crit him, you might die. <laughs> um, and the sweet. Oh wow, the thematic music has started here. I, yeah, I, like I should that, have. I like I that grilled have... cheese recipe, by the way. So, <laughs> oh, okay, thank you. Hold on, wait, hold on. I gotta look at this. Uh, um, now, at the end of the stream, we will record oh, Olivier oh, reading. Oh, at the end of this, we'll record Olivier reading the grilled cheese uh, recipe in character voice oh, yeah. and we'll add that as bonus content at the end of the episode uh, you have to be, <laughs> find it. You have to be right, a patreon done. to and get i that. also i also <laughs> yeah, the video. it'll be a patreon exclusive <laughs> i i linked the video on how to make you it. literally only have to give us a dollar but with that dollar <laughs> you will earn a cheese you, <laughs> you, you learn the secret to inside out grilled cheese all right, Here's, let's get this started before the music so, runs out. Oh. No, it's, 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 Fine. On loop now. it's on loop now. So before we go to the meeting, I did also want to try to attune to the Obsidian Dagger. If it's of course, even of course a, you did. attunable. It is not. It is not magic. Okay, I will then proceed Wait. to use it as a toothpick. <laughs> Why are you taking my dagger? Boy. Oh, it's getting tense. So... Everyone is looking at you all. Oh you have called this. All right. You have gathered the people. You've done enough to prove that they're willing to hear you out. I, I hope so at this point. Where, where, where exactly are we at? Are we right next to the tree? Yes. Okay. Because it's the center of town. All unless right, you have wait. a better... Unless you would rather hold it no, not this is, around this the tree. This is perfect. This is perfect. Sure. What could go wrong? I'm, I'm going to be listening, but Everything. while I'm listening to what's going on i also want to i want to look at this tree i'm gonna fucking really study this dead tree give me a uh, investigation roll okay let's see if i can find my character sheet on here because reloading canceled out all my bonus things mm -hmm. hold on found it oh god wait investigation you said yes i'm not good at that <laughs> <laughs> that's a good lead up that's a 12. Um, looking at this tree is... It's not natural. Um, and it's certainly not really living. But beyond I that... It's, it's dead. Is it, Does it look like something... How, how big is it? Oh... I think about, oh, is it 40 or 60 feet tall? Give me just one moment. I can verify that. I think that. you said it was 60, 60 tall. I think it was 60. If I remember it correctly. How, how thick is it? Um. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, man. Lancer's going to kill me. I just cleared my throat right by the... No, I, I'm editing this. Um, I'll kill me. Uh, thick. And does it bend mm. slightly to the left or right? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> does it matter? It knows how to use it. All right. <laughs> Clearly, it's a shower, not a grower. That's all we need to know. Yeah, what? 60 feet tall with a five foot diameter trunk, and its branches okay. are spread out in a 20 foot radius. Pretty big tree. It's a little thinner than I thought. Okay. Well, I mean, 
<clears throat> me if we are actually going to have this meeting in right next to this goddamn evil ass tree. I'm going to detect evil and good just while I'm doing it. Oh, the tree detects is evil. Yeah, I'm just seeing if the, like any other presence is like in it eventually. Oh, uh, at the moment, no. All right. Just... At the moment, god damn it. I'm just. So, <laughs> I'm going to go up to the tree and just read that. Is the note still uh, pinned to it? Did anyone take it down? I don't think any of us did. Then, yeah, it's still there. And I'm going to read it out loud, uh, translating from Elven to Common to the assembled people. That won't scare them at all. No. <laughs> I mean, um, I figure it's not like we were hiding the note that's directly pinned to the tree. Anybody in town, any small child could walk up to that note. And if yeah, they happen to know Elvin, could read it. Mm -hmm. um, you read it aloud, and the assembled crowd and the dragon kind of are... They hear you. Should we read it again for anyone listening to no, this podcast? Oh, for God's sake, stop scaring the town, people! <laughs> <laughs> they need to know as much as we do. So I look towards uh, Garrett Lee. Sarent Lee. Sarent Lee is dead. <laughs> I look towards, towards Sarent Lee and I look towards the hammer and I look towards Zax. Um, just kind of shrug my shoulders. Um, what do you think we should do? There's, there's no way we can fight this. Uh, Sarent Lee it says with a very worried look on his face. And we've gotten by here so long as we have because nobody's bothered us. I, I don't mean to panic anyone, but we might need to leave. If we got 30 days, we can fix up some boats. We can't get far, but we might at least be able to get close to Ossium Hastum or even to Victoria Point. Cold. What's the current state of those areas? Uh, frankly, I don't know. I haven't been. I, I'm asking you as the person who has been traveling around and oh. ran out to here. Uh, give me a history check. Oh, boy. Thank you. See what you know. That is 12th. Well, what you you don't know much about Alcim Hastum. Um, it's a big city, and you've never been there. But you've traveled through Victoria Point. Um, and the best descriptor I can ever give for it is like Katri is New Orleans post Katrina. Um, it is. God. Is there anybody living there at all? Yes, there are people still living there, but okay. it's pretty awful, and it's still partially flooded. All yeah. right, look, I don't know what you guys know about outside of here, but. Truth be told, fighting a bunch of grayscale is probably one of the better options considering if you decide to transplant yourselves elsewhere. Like, where are you going to go? What are you going to do for a job? How are you going to get money to survive? We mostly know farming. Oh, good job. You're going to go to an area where you can't farm shit. <laughs> Then what, do you, plan. then what do you suggest, stranger? Oh, uh, this land's great. Uh, you stop the grayscale from being a bunch of assholes, and you go ahead and shoot them in the face. We're not fighters. Most of us have never held a sword. That's fine. It, grayscales are pretty dumb. You could probably stab them without much effort. Yeah. <laughs> How it sounds. <laughs> There are only so many of us. How many um, of them are there? Well, let's put it this way. Enough to where having a dragon out of commission is enough for them to attack, but not enough to attack when the dragon is fine. The only issue is now they have something in, that might mitigate the dragon's presence. Hmm. Well, uh, do, do you know exactly how that works? Uh, Zach says in a kind of worried voice. I, hmm. the, all right, I don't, right, if, I don't uh, want to see any harm come to these good people here. The Elmshire was always Garrett's 
Mm. Baby, so the shock. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think I remember from, and I'm just going to do this in character. I remember from last session. Uh, basically, there was a temple out in the woods, and there is an orb in the temple uh, in a room full of dragon statues, each for a statue for each color of dragon. Um, the only true orb in the room was a bronze copper. orb. Yeah, copper, sorry. Uh, a copper orb, and the uh, there was a whispering in the room in Druidic stating that the orbs are a gift for if dragons uh, or these great creatures basically become a threat to the people of the world, they're there to, to combat them. I, I, I'm sorry. Um, uh nervous jittery man in the crowd speaks up um uh, did did you say druidic um i'm not familiar with that language uh taf taf ajmani the uh blacksmith um his continuously twitching hands uh says looking at you confused uh yes druidic it's um think uh think individuals who praise the old ways and choose to revere nature as their chosen path through life. Uh, are, are one of you a druid? Why do you ask? I, I want to insight check him. Can I, as, can I as well knowing <clears throat> about uh, the religion of Cogswell kind of seeing... And could I, oh, instead of Taff, could I insight check um, Brewer Hawthorne as, as this is being said? Sure. Ooh, good call. I got a 22. Oh! <laughs> um, I got a 14. Brewer Hawthorne seems kind of very interested in everything that's being said, but he's not showing a whole lot of reaction otherwise. Uh, now, Taff uh, seems to be like like, so, like something has caught him by surprise. Um, I just thought that all the druids were, were things of myth, gone, um, in the times be- before before the cataclysm. Um, Just because they're gone doesn't mean what they left well, well, is gone as well. You said that they was in Druidic. I thought that was in, like their old lost language that if someone could hear it, I thought maybe <clears throat> one of you was Druid. Did, did you say you thought all the Druids were gone or that you never heard of Druidic? Well, I'd never heard of Druidic, but if you said it was spoken by people that sound like Druids and they're gone. Um, why do you but, find this so curious? Oh, I'm sorry if uh, you come over here talking about lost temples and magical dragon orbs and languages of supposedly people lost to myth and legends. I mean, who actually even speaks that? i just trying to understand. This is all very hard to digest. There's a giant tree in the middle of town, and you're asking why somebody could actually speak a certain language that you thought yourself was non-existent on your isolated island. And and there's a path of dead grass and plants leading into the town. I know that there is magic. I'm not an idiot. I'm not saying that you're an idiot. I'm just saying you're asking the weirdest questions in the most dire circumstances. Regardless, it doesn't if, matter if how we... If you were a druid, then we could ask for help! No one Everyone here at, is a druid. Everyone at the temple was dead. Right. Regardless of the fact, everyone's heard of Costas and his generals. We have one who's interested in this place. He seems to have found the orb, as was stated, if we can put two and two together. If he has the grayscales attacking us and the grayscales attack the druid temple, then he probably has this. But we are also 
believe that he may have been responsible for the storm that swept through here several days ago. The green scales will not allow ourselves to die out for the people of this town. We have escaped the gray scales once before, though it cost us many. We can do it again. Yeah, about that. I've got my concerns. Now, the letter that uh, Andolas the douchebag left us <laughs> says something very specific. It said that he, he planned on taking the dragon, not killing the dragon. Mm. I have concerns about that. And I'm not necessarily okay with the idea of a bunch of grayscales having a dragon in their pocket. You think maybe the orb... <clears throat> sorry. You think maybe the orb is a way to control <clears throat> Zax? Well, that's what the letter seems to, to make our reference to. There's smoke and here's fire. Regardless, if they have the orb, if we can take it back somehow. Take it back? How? In the dead of night while they're all asleep and we sneak in and grab it. We have 30 days. That's true. We what have 30 days. What this comes down to is whether or not you want to stay here and fight to maintain this little piece of land that you've set aside for yourselves, or whether you want to cut and run and try and find something somewhere else. I try to look up to Zax and kind of give him a nod, like, the, you know, the Serent Lee has spoken and the Hammer has spoken and it's his turn now. Um... Well, um, ah, I don't know what I can do. Um, I can scare off little bits of, of, of lizard men guys. Um, but I, I don't like the sound of this, this orb thing that you say that they have. I don't, I've, I've never faced something that could control her fight me um if Serent wants to leave it's it's the people uh, that mattered the most to to Garant and I, I will see them safely to wherever they go we all oh, have nice to call. remember as well the moment we show any sign of aggression they will not wait for the 30 days if we do not locate this orb and they know that we are attacking them. They will unleash hell upon all of us. Keep I... in mind. They are not idiots. And I mean, not to make this personal for you, Sarent, or you, the hammer, but Sarent, isn't this the land that your... Is it grandfather? Mm-hmm. That your grandfather built? And... Hammer, we've already found what we can assume is a piece of your great spiritual leader. Don't you want to recover whatever you can of the mountain? Give me a okay. persuasion roll. Hell yeah. Actually, wow. give me two separate persuasion rolls. One okay. for yeah. Sarent and one for the hammer. All right. First one's 11 for Sarent. And <clears throat> the second one's a 12. 12. I, uh, your words have meaning, young one, but the survival of the tribe is the chief most importance. How about it? Leader, it is my duty to ensure that the green scales survive under any circumstance. Hammer, what's the importance of full moons to lizard culture? When Ulafar's eye is highest in the sky, 
that is the times of blessing. That is the time that we would act. If they are seeming to attack on the full moon, then it means they wish to invoke Ulfar's blessing in the raid. So if we had a way to weaken their numbers beforehand, they would be attacking at a stake that is weaker than before. We need to get the orb. We need to get that orb back. We need to keep Zax as a threat to them. Look, I I appreciate your willingness to fight for us, but I don't see how we could handle them coming to our town. It may be difficult, but we are hardy people, and we could find a new place, or we can join into another city, but. Look, so many of us are children and old. How long would it take for you to prepare to leave? Uh, I, there, how long it would it take to prepare to leave? In 30 days, we're going to be just attempting to get as many people able to leave as we can. Um, there's nowhere on this land we can go to. We're going to have to rebuild boats and make ones bigger than they were before meant to carry people in possessions not just fish uh, we'll be lucky if we can get that done in time before the raid uh, didn't once you guys mention at some point there were other people on this island other than us and those grayscales cool. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> you mean the the the, the warring tribes of raiders that worship the that worship colic their god of war and slaughter and I would not venture near those lands anyone near there is a dead man not to mention it might not necessarily be good to cast their eye upon this place that seems rather precious of you guys to be making assumptions here I'm... we are talking about something else that could help us in our benefit now I get the whole idea of running away from your problems. Uh, I literally just did that not a few weeks ago, but I guarantee you guys, if you guys are able to make it out of here alive, and if you guys somehow make it across and go somewhere else altogether, the options of you guys having any sort of life that is even the remotely enjoyable is close to zero. And that's not including the fact that I'm willing to take a bet they're not going to let this dragon leave the island. Now. I don't know how much you're indebted to this dragon, but I'm sure as hell not going to just leave him on this island to be controlled by a bunch of grayscales. I mean, the dragon is landlocked due to the broken wing, so... He can swim. I am I mean, but... Boss has a point. That takes a lot of your defense. How do you think that you're going to be able to escape? Never mind the grayscales. What about bandits and raiders on the road? You talk about being young or old. How are you going to defend yourselves when you're carrying your lives with you? There's Don't be much... stupid. Help us fortify this town and we'll fucking defend it. There's too much we lose if we leave. Too many people that will be lost on the way. <clears throat> um, I need a persuasion roll from... Garrick. Persuasion. Hey, let's go. 13. Okay. Yes, love Tino and Twitch chat. That young man did just cuss. <laughs> oh, right. So you're grounded for 24 hours. <laughs> is, is that a place that we could hide people? I hide people I mean if we hide people and we just booby trap the hell out of the town I mean if they're coming here to take things they want to enslave you we could make it just such a pain in the ass to do so they're not willing to come back there's the only places that would be close to hiding would be the tunnels that lead from here to the ruins that the green scales are at and and then beyond that I mean there are other paths 
thoughts in our home that we have blocked or sealed away for not wanting to go deeper. Uh, <clears throat> if you could dig into them, you would be welcome to hide there. That was that was an in-character throat clear. Uh, <laughs> a hammer, Lee, Zax, I stand before you among my party members here on the side of you who think that we should run, that this is not a battle we want to face. But hearing your plans for escape, I think that maybe what they're saying makes sense. First, I would say we have assets that we have not brought up yet, and I produce one of the orbs, uh, the elemental orbs. Um, oh, yeah. <clears throat> we found these out at the Lost Temple. Uh, they will summon an elemental that will fight, maybe not with us, but hopefully it will fight more grayscales than it would fight us. Uh, and this could help us should things get really dangerous. And if it's going to take you many days anyway to try to prepare to escape, then maybe we follow up with Olivier's plan and we try to get the orb back and you muster both a defense and a plan to escape. And if we can't get the orb, then we run. And if we get the orb, we prepare to defend Elmshire with Zax and the green scales, the elementals, and the six of us. If we can get that orb, Dragon can fight. If Dragon can fight, then Grayscales will be less willing to even come near us. But if we fail and we do not seek out this orb, they will attack us immediately, without, with or without Ulathar's blessing. If they can prove it's us. <clears throat> then we leave the elemental gems here. Or we could use them as a distraction. We've got three. We can leave at least one here. I mean, that's not a bad point. We could just, like, use these to smash them into whatever camp we find. We could thin their numbers early and then come back and set traps. Well, we we could utilize the, the gems, summon whatever creatures, cause a distraction, and you're... Sneaky, you snuck up on me earlier. You think you could get in the camp and steal an orb? I mean, probably, yeah. I mean, well, especially if you guys can run a distraction for me, I definitely can do that. Oh, I can distract a bunch of grayscales, I'll assure you that. <clears throat> I need you guys to decide because this has been a group compelling argument. I need to know who is making this next persuasion roll. You, I mean, you've all been being persuasive, but you can decide amongst you who gets the role here. <laughs> I mean, I'm not really a, for this plan just yet, so not me. Yeah, Asheron is definitely on the fence, but yeah, do it now. Do I need? Do I need to do another speech? <laughs> um, I mean, you've been making. I, I am, I'm asking for a persuasion role from here. I'm I'm willing for the the individuals of this place to do whatever they see fit. Whatever is going to make the people of this place the happiest is whatever path I will follow here. Aww. So who's gonna run? I'm not. I'm not about to watch. I'm not about to watch a bunch of people just give up the one thing that they've got in this world just to go elsewhere and lose everything. Give me a persuasion roll, Olivier. Yeah. Go go magic persuasion. Eighteen. Yes. That's beautiful. All right. Yeah, that's great. Sarah takes a shrug of his broad shoulder and goes, Well, while I'm the leader of the town, we've all only gotten by because everyone pitching in, being themselves. This, You're right. This is my family's place, and I'll stay and try and defend it. I won't fault any man or woman that wants to go elsewhere, but as for me, I'm sticking with Zax. No. And I'll try these guys' plan. Nice. Uh, the crowd all begins to kind of like murmur to themselves. What? 
has the hammer's opinion changed at all, or is he still strong-willed against it? The green scales will wait to see if you are successful in your attempt to get this orb back. Oh, then, I don't, I don't deal in ifs, hammer. I deal in dues and wills, and we are getting that orb back. If you get the orb back, then we will consider standing with you. But in the <laughs> meanwhile, we will look and think and plan for the survival of our tribe. Remember, there's always the benefit that if we deal with the grayscales here and now, they won't be there to bother you again in the future. We have fought the grayscales before. Their numbers are vast. They are tricky and they have little honor. We thank you for waiting. You, we will not wait long. You won't need to. All right, boys and girls. Hammer, we, would you be willing to show the Sarant Lee this network of tunnels you discussed as the last means for the people of Elmshire? Yes. I will allow the Sarant to come. Anybody watching us? Anybody evil that's undead? You sense no presence in the immediate area. Okay. Oh, that music cue. That kind Yo, of so nice. <laughs> I, love, I, I love this music. It's just this one track on a loop, and it's beautiful. Can you Voila. play it in the background of like the actual uh, of the audio? That might be hey, hey, the shock. Well, they're finishing up the conversation. I kind of want to wander back over to the tree, and I just want to pull out my holy symbol and hold it close to the tree and see if anything happens. Uh, give me a charisma roll. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, come on, charisma. Don't fuck me. That's a 12. You kind of walk back over to the tree. And, um, as you kind of, like press the symbol towards it for a brief moment one of the tiny tiny little branches to low down seems to almost like a bud just starts to try to grow and then your reaction you almost kind of like pull back not expecting it, and it just instantly withers interesting okay <clears throat> All right. Um, I am going to put a pin in that. <laughs> you put a pin in your holy symbol. I put a pin in my holy symbol. <laughs> and I <laughs> staple it back to my chest. <laughs> <laughs> What's everyone doing around us at the moment um, as the ha as Sarant goes off with the hammer? Is everyone kind of just slowly clearing out? Uh, Yeah, people are going and discussing with themselves deciding like their families are all deciding what to do the lizard folk are following the hammer and going to do their thing Zax is you know as a young dragon is kind of like <sighs> he can't, you see him just like attempt to stretch his wing wince in pain and put it back uh, if, if that, as everyone kind of moves out of earshot of us and Zax, because you said you know, they're all dispersing, I just want to look to Zax and say, uh, <clears throat> I know that you care for the people of Elmshire, but as the full moon approaches, I want you to remember you can do a lot of good for lots of people, not just these people. And should the time come that we don't have the orb, you should get as far away from here as possible. You'll do a lot more harm if the grayscales get a hold of you. Then you can help the people here. Give me a persuasion roll. That is an eight. He say. seems like he honestly just wasn't even paying attention to what you were saying. Like yeah. he's lost his own thoughts. <laughs> I was about to say, that sounds like oh, give me a persuasion roll at disadvantage, but it was already an eight, so it's just like, ooh. <laughs> 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 yeah, so uh, 
And Sarent turns to you all and says, Well, I hope whatever you're planning works. Viewers at home would not know it, but I'm actually uh, proficient in persuasion. Just never works out for me. (laughs) Not when you want it to. (laughs) No, No, sir. At least Zach didn't backhand me. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, that would have done more morale damage than physical damage. (laughs) So, what's next? Hmm. It's as the everyone goes back the uh, sun is painting a picture of pinks and orange and reds in the sky as it is setting uh Bones, I walk do you the... know how many days walk it is to the grayscales main encampment I have never been there before we do not venture that far north I'm afraid Well, tomorrow, do we want to set out on a scouting party and try and see what we can see? <clears throat> I think so. Yeah, we might have to. Yeah, I mean, the faster we're... we can get the orb, the faster we can make a proper plan. Worst case, we just turn this into a, a little grayscale hunting expedition on the periphery. Okay. If, if what Bones says is true, though, we better make it worthwhile. We will only have one shot at this. If we fail... Your people will die. But I will be with you to assist you in this, regardless. Nice. My people will be just fine. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that. That was a good speech, but it was missing something. Yeah. <laughs> it got that little bit of uh, that Bones influence in at the end. Yeah. Yeah. Well, then let's not fail. Simple as that. Okay. Is there anything you guys wish to do the evening uh, before you? Yes. I want to walk the dragon. Anyone want to help me try to tear down this tree? Uh, actually, don't tear, don't don't tear the tree down yet. I I would like to to meditate on this a while. Asheron just kind of slowly quenches the firebolt that was in his hand. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I will, oh, go ahead. I, I want to walk the. Uh, I want to walk Zax back to the tower, and I want to have a little chat with him as I'm using like another charge on the healer's kit to try and mend him. Okay, give me a healing check, a medicine check. Oh and right, roll. Medicine check. Sure, uh, medicine check first. Yeah, because at this that point is, he is not in need of hit point healing. Oh. Uh, he is at full HP. He has a okay. condition that is. Okay. Oh. Sort of like if one of us gets crit gotcha. and we break something. Yes. Fair. Yeah. Okay. Um, so you don't need to use a healing kit charge for this. Oh, okay. Fair. Because they're, yeah. Uh, you're not okay. needing to stabilize and you're not needing to treat an immediate wound. You're just checking on fair. and trying to help, you know, help it recover as quick as it can. Right. But at the end of the day, at, right now, it's still a broken bone and it still needs time. Okay. Ugh. Well, 29 days. Before um, I go off with my kids, I want to pull Sig aside um, for a little bit. I, am I going to get a chance to talk with this nice dragon or no? Yeah. Oh, you're, oh go okay. for it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. No worries. This, uh, the spotlight turns on the two of the VA. All right. <laughs> well, not much more I can do right now with the added healing effects of mud and stick. Um, <laughs> uh, it appears that you've been carrying these people for, for a little too long. Now you're stuck in a situation where you can't. I don't. I've been here since I was young, barely over a hatchling when Garrett brought me here. and It's been my home. No, no, it's true. And this must be really hard for you right now. Wish I could fly. <laughs> well, that'll happen in time. What's more important right now, seeing that everyone else in town can fly on their own. Uh, I don't. What, what do you mean? Well, think think of this broken bone as sort of a sign. 
These people have been greatly under your care for a long, long time. Well, now it's time for them to learn how to fly. Theoretically speaking, I'm not meaning literally. They're not going to get wings or nothing. <laughs> so you think that me protecting them has made them weak? I think they grew a little reliant on it, yes. Think about it. The moment that you're out of commission, the first thing they want to do is run from the problem. Give me a persuasion roll. You got it. That's only a 12. What is with all the 11 to 13 persuasion yeah, rolls to that? Yeah. Like, like, and it's with a bunch of different stat modifiers, too. We've had like three, four, <laughs> zero, five. We're the average Joe tonight. <laughs> it makes me really want to start rolling real dice again. <laughs> you you can. Can. Oh, oh it, it's not working better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, remember the eight? <laughs> yeah. It's just been not a night for being persuasive. Mm -hmm. um, when we need it the most. Right. To be fair, it's really hard to persuade a dragon to do anything. <laughs> uh, that's also true. Uh, I'll, I'll think about that. That's interesting point of view of the VA. Nah, don't worry too much. Everything will get solved. I assure you that much. Mm. He kind of nods and goes and crawls himself back up onto his preferred perch and goes to sit and think. Alright, I'm going to head back. Okay. Okay. Garrick, you were pulling Sig aside? Um, Sig, you have a second before we all head off to our dwellings for the night? Yeah, what's up, man? Well, I told you I'd teach you how to use that scimitar, right? Oh, yeah. Mind handing it to me for a second? Uh, like, unsheaths it and, uh, flips it, <coughs> um, pommel facing him. Yeah, sure, I guess. Give it a couple practice swings, um... It is remarkably well balanced. Um, <laughs> fine craftsmanship. Remarkably. Remarkably. Oh now, boy. From what I've seen, you're used to stabbing things, right? Center of mass, even for the chest, head, stomach. Yeah, we pretty well you just poke it in the throat and it dies, usually. Same with this, but try to aim for the undersides, sometimes here, and I, I kind of like tap the sword underneath my arm, and in between the legs, tapping inside of my thighs. Loss of blood there, and go for the joints too. Makes him lose a limb. Oh, okay. Can you, like, can you show me? I, I, I'm gonna, he gets kind of quiet, so I'm gonna be honest, I don't, I don't really get how to use it. Like, it's a sword <laughs> and it cuts, right? But. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's a little scary. <laughs> oh, words, the fact he doesn't know how to use it or the fact that Garrick knows how to use it. <laughs> so I flip it back around. I'm showing how you would swing it. I kind of, like, still kind of jab-ish. Like, it's, like, there's kind of an arc, but clearly not, like... Like, I just kind of make some, like, half-hearted swipes and kind of look at him, like, see, I don't, I don't fucking know. I, I pull out my, my axe and give a few practice swings. Um, Garrick, of... give me a uh, intelligence roll with proficiency modifier. Uh, okay. I'll just... It's going to be just a nature then here. but So that's a 14. Okay. And Sig, give me a flat intelligence roll. Okay. Intelligence... And That's gonna be a four. That's yeah, all right. yeah. You are uh, not picking up what he's throwing down tonight, but it, you know it's a start. Where are you guys doing this at? Right next to the tree. Mm -hmm. So I mean, yeah, you Bones or Ashron could all be witnessing this. Olivier walked Ooh. away with the dragon. Yes, I did. I'm not there. We'll keep practicing. Um, all right. Thanks, I'm just going to yell out uh, to Sig from from over by the tree. If you need a spotting partner, just let me know. Oh, nice! <laughs> <laughs> Righteous, brah. 
Oh, God, God, the worst part is how natural it sounds. It's I like, know. it's creepy. <laughs> Remember, and I, I slide my finger along the, the edge. Here's the dangerous part, not this, and I tap the point, and then I head off to find my kids. Oh, cool. Kind of makes a couple uh-huh. more sweeps with it. Not as dingily, I hope. <laughs> I mean, you know, you're getting the practice of what it feels like to hold, but it's going to take time before you feel really, like, trained with the weapon but mm-hmm. you've got people willing to teach you in the practice with so over time and more lucky uses in combat uh, <laughs> I'd fucking roll that 20s till I know <laughs> <laughs> oh my god I'm, I'm I wish it worked out that like, easily I'm just gonna wake up like perfectly just throw it across the room like sink it into something be like yes this is what it was meant for. <laughs> um, anybody else do anything in the evening before? Um, I since I only need to uh, to like go into a trance for four hours or whatever. I was going to do that outside near the tree and just kind of meditate on what happened with the tree when I held up the holy symbol. Okay. Um, and during the night, I would like to make another attempt if possible. Okay. Um, Bones? I'm going to be heading back to my uh, people, and I... I guess first I... I'm going to cast Speak with Animals. We don't need to have a talk (laughs) with them. But, if you want. But essentially what I'm going to be asking is if they've seen any green scales wandering by themselves. Hmm. Green scales? Um, yeah, you get a few green scales happen um, out hunting or ranging. Um, there's too few of you to stick to a strict buddy system. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, then after that, I'm just going to be talking with Hammer to see, like, more how, like, who's, like, on post where and where. I'm just keeping an eye out to see if, like, any of them might be trying to give away information to the gray scales. Oh, you're looking for a traitor? Yes. Yep. Give me an insight roll. Okay. Ooh. All these people I've known for ever since I was a little lad. Um, yeah, but a little. Lizard, a little. If there's, look, God, you know, the lizard men are not like super honor focused. They're super survival focused. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. That's exactly my thinking. Um, rolled a fourteen plus. I think I have a five. Yeah, nineteen. Okay, so you start kind of looking around trying to see if anyone is going to be a traitor. Okay. Um, <laughs> That's my evening. You're looking for unusual behaviors outside of normal patterns. Yep. Um, okay. Um, everyone else going to sleep while Boss sits by the tree a bit longer? Uh, before I go to sleep, I want to just take um, some time just making uh, little carved uh, necklace things for each one of my kids. Um, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't worry about make. it. <laughs> <laughs> see, if I, see if I can make five of them um, and, uh, in the time, you know, before it gets too late and then get to sleep. Give me a woodworking tool. Check. Hey, yo. That's a 25. Oh, my. Oh, baby. They're beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, because all you're doing is carving basically a little amulet. Um, what is it of? Um, it's of. A, I think Zax's head uh, with like a kind of a, a, a line or a, like a oh, so it's, like pattern around the outside. Oh, you're so since that's drag, kind Cole. of so since that's kind of intricate, you're able to finish one of them tonight. Okay. Because uh, that was a good roll, and you're 25. So who's your favorite kid? <laughs> <laughs> Give him a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just gonna, I'm just not gonna answer that one. <laughs> it's George. Those, my imaginary, those imaginary characters don't need to know who's my favorite. <laughs> it's George. I'd like to know. The he was the first one he named. <laughs> no, I have names for all of them. <laughs> it's uh, George. Uh, so, all right, everybody has gone off to. I had one last I, question. And oh this yes, maybe uh, a DM. Like, so Asheron caught on to the kind of when Toph was talking about druids, he went from not knowing druidic was a language to then being like, I thought all the druids were gone. 
And I'm just trying to follow up on whether that was uh, just like a story, you know, role play thing, or if that like if Asheron caught that as actually a suspicious element. Uh, well, there hasn't been any knowledge of active druids, and it's been known that the old, the new gods have actively pursued basically hunting down and exterminating them. Okay. Oh, that would have been good to know at the beginning of when I was asking why he's being such a goofball about it. That's and so if, if you want to compare it to something, compare it to like talking about Jedi, um, nah. like around the time of a new hope. Yeah. Like, the, the new, the new, uh, the new or world order, if you will, is had like an inquisition out on the Druids. Yeah. It just yeah, seemed weird that, yeah, I guess it was just for me. I was like, wait, like, you know, there's Druids, but you don't know they speak Druidic. That seems. Seems. No one talks about the, the druids. Ha- the druids. Druidic is a secret language. Actually, most people don't even know it exists. Oh, all right. Yep. Never mind. Then uh, I don't do it. That's why. There's that's why you reasons. can't. That's why you can't learn it most of the time. I unless do nothing then. I, I go to sleep. To you. I um. I so that would sweet. stick out weird to you that actually that boss knows Druidic. I have sweet baby dragon dreams. Okay. I uh, baby do you dragon want to watch. Dreams out for boss i guess while he's meditating hey okay like not in a not in like a a, a close facet either just in the general area you would be uh, in the area where you can keep an eye on him yep oh the, the big pro little bro bond is forming <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun <laughs> i would like to take an inventory about how much ammunition i have and what I'm with um you've currently got probably about enough powder to get you by for 30 shots before you'll need to refine some more how how like i'm just curious as as in like you've got more powder but you've only got it made up into about 30 bullets worth okay so how does that process work because i'm literally clueless in that and how that's going to work here um what that requires then is just some downtime to actually to make more and then okay. once you are out of the powder you'll have to acquire more to make into it but okay all right neat that's all i've got okay yeah because each fire uses its own unique uh, information uh, you know so it, at the moment you've got that much and you think you have enough powder that you could probably make another 30 shots on top of what you have but you would need time and tool and you know okay access to probably a workshop like a blacksmith okay after that yeah. you would need to acquire more powder and metal for making everything Ooh, we'll deal with that arc at another date <laughs> A lot of the powder in itself is not necessarily common, but it's people don't. It's not large, widely and largely used, so it's not commonly collected. And even this, most people don't know what the fuck it's good for. Like okay. they know, ooh, sparky candles or something. Interesting. All right, cool. Um. All right, so then you check your inventory and head off the bed. Pretty much. Um, okay, so everyone goes off to get a night's rest. Uh, boss sits and meditates at the tree with Sig, kind of keeping an eye out on him. Uh, give me perception checks, Sig and boss. Oh boy. Oh god. It's happening! Oh That's golly. 14. That's a 20. Um, nice. Nice. Finally, we're rolling good. <laughs> Sig, you know this the shape of the tree as you're kind of keeping an eye out some, uh, about an hour or two in. Um, it's been quiet. The shape of the tree, like on the trunk, starts to kind of distort in an odd way. Um, not directly in front of where Boss is, but kind of like around on the side. Um, and a foot starts to emerge from the tree as a uh, a figure 
begins to. <laughs> <laughs> I roll stealth that. immediately. It's a twelve. <laughs> you're you're <laughs> boom, and hiding. Um, as a, a foot emerges from the tree, and a figure steps out. It's dark, and there's not a lot of light, but 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 by the moonlight that you're God. basically witnessing. They're not the Andolas, I swear to God. Um, boss, you're suddenly aware of a the sound of a figure taking two steps uh, within a very close proximity of you. I'm going to stand up. As both of you witness stepping out from the tree, very, very pale skinned, long, dark, black, slick hair, pointed elven ears, um, and wearing uh what looks like we're probably uh, some very nice robes, um, of like open robes over loose fitting clothing, um, all in colors of dark greens and browns. Um, and as he steps out from the, the, the truth, his hands clasped kind of calmly behind his back. And he stops and takes a good look around and looks up at the stars and makes a sighing noise. Hmm. And he glances down, or glances over and just looks you directly in the eye, boss. What do you want, cursed one? I just came back from my tree. He uh, just reaches out and pats it affectionately. You see, it's kind of something of mine. He kind of looks... Hmm. You look familiar. <laughs> Oh, do I? Can't quite place it. I'm sorry to everyone the injustice that I cannot do to Endolce's voice, but you if really I just tell him what to say, I'll do it just right now. Whisper it to to Blackhawk. All right, all right. If everyone doesn't oh. mind the slight delay, then we will oh, go to quality. Fine. We will okay. go for quality. I'm excited. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love how Blackhawk is just like, oh, I didn't set up this. <laughs> Are you okay with this, Blackhawk? Yeah, no, I'm totally fine with that. Oh, can we get? I, I miss the. I miss. I miss Andolas and his popish. I swear, we're gonna have adventure. evil oh. Andolas too. All of us oh, have to RP our so evil guys. <laughs> oh, that's oh, so cool. Oh, that'd be, oh no, that'd be, that'd be pretty sweet. <laughs> what can I say? All living elves look a lot alike to me anymore. So what's it like being a cursed undead piece of shit? <laughs> the thing he hates the Yeah, most. you can ad-lib that response. <laughs> That's... <laughs> um, I'd say it's treating me quite nice. You sound like Lucius Malfoy now. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> it's so evil. <sighs> oh. Um, that he kind of grins at you <clears throat> and looks up at the tree. And he, he sighs, but it doesn't actually sound like breath really leaves him. Almost as if he's literally forcing himself to make the sound of a sigh. <laughs> <laughs> of course, because he doesn't breathe. Fuck. <laughs> Oh! He squeezes his chest really, really hard. <laughs> <laughs> now I'll let this one slide, but if you touch my tree again, it won't be pleasant. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cast Protection for Evil on myself. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, how you know? Of all the things we looked at, I actually haven't looked at how protection from evil works. In uh, oh, okay. I got you covered, baby. 
What certain type of creature? Uh, oh, I wonder. No, that's it's all of them, isn't it? Uh, one who's protected against a certain type of creatures. I mean, against oh, certain, okay, certain types. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Nice. Never mind. Yeah, not oh, certain they, type. It's certain can't types. Can't be disadvantaged on attack rolls against target. Target also. Okay. Can't be charmed, frightened, or possessed. Okay. Well, if you're gonna take your tree, take it and go, or else I'm gonna try and bring it back to uh, a more pleasant state of being. And I pull out my holy symbol. Sorry, this is a little bit of awkward silence as I type this out to him. Yeah. That can right. it out in post. I'm on the edge of my fucking seat right now. Some good <laughs> dialogue. Um, I almost just want to fucking... <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> as if you contain the power within you to oppose even one of my wishes. I grab the tree and I say, eat a dick, bitch. And then I smack it <laughs> and I fucking disappear into the tree. Uh, he with he tells you to eat a dick, bitch. Uh, the uh, smacks his hand against the tree. It turns suddenly into a staff of black, gnarled uh, wood in his hands, and with a smirk and a grin and an ever so slightly obnoxious wink, he uh, mothers some. Um, some words and uh, disappears from sight. If I was my old character, I would have attacked him immediately. <laughs> <laughs> and then Chira would have rolled up a new character. <laughs> yeah, that's why I didn't do it. This new we character is a uh, new age and uh, new new lease on life. <laughs> I'm so glad to see that Andola still has her his snarkiness at least. Um, did uh. Did. So I, I can do, I'd say I can do the attitude. I just can't do the voice. No. <laughs> he he disappeared, right? Yeah. Okay. So I'm immediately going to uh, utilize my divine sense to see if there's any evil presence still in the area. Uh, the let's see exactly how that works. Basically, undead feet. The uh, basically thing. the entire area that that tree was occupying is now like a black mark on the ground, and it is just it like it reeks of decay and death, um, and undeath to be more specific. Not, okay. um, and it feels that that has area has now been desecrated. Okay. And probably nothing will ever grow there again. Ugh feels bad. Can so I, Sig, you wa witnessed all this from your hiding that, spot. That's what I gonna say, from my slump, like, like Sig was like crouched over and he just goes, holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> do I, do I notice Sig there? Uh, you he hear, you do now. Yeah, <laughs> he <laughs> kind of like, he like suddenly like drops out from underneath like from a, a broken building scaffolding and just goes holy shit <laughs> I just look over at him uh, well that was an interesting uh, brush with death wasn't it that ain't right man <laughs> oh. that's what we're up against Yes, He's but really at least, cool. No, okay. At, 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 at least uh, we know that if you wanted to, uh, if you just wanted to kill us now, uh, that's not necessarily on his agenda, or else I'd already be dead. So that's true. Silver linings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess. Oh, oh, yeah, I guess so. Shit. I'm gonna go to bed now. <laughs> and if the stable still exists, he walks to the stable that he slept in before. Well, then uh, with an un... Everybody does not sleep well that night. I mean, you rest and you are resting more, but you've... I won't say plagued by bad dreams, but you well, sleep we already restlessly. agreed that I had sweet baby dragon dreams. <laughs> yeah, that, that was that, the contract. Uh, yes, was signed sweet and baby dragon dreams that get distorted and uncomfortable as the night goes further along. Son of a bitch, the shock. You actually, you actually <laughs> he won't dream. let us have anything in this game. You actually dream about baby dragons. 
the Yu Gi Oh! Dying. Yeah, the Yu Gi Oh! Dying. <laughs> um, but uh, everyone gets their night's rest. I mean, it's not like horrible. It's just like you kind of like wake up and toss and turn and um, go, you know, you're able to go back to sleep and get your full night's rest, but like, it is not a good night of sleep. Um, just like kind of a feeling hanging in the air. You know how kind of like when you're really anxious about something you have to do the next day and you keep waking up in the middle of the night afraid you're going to like miss an alarm clock or something? Oh, man. Anyone else having all those dreams with the dark foreboding music? <laughs> <laughs> um, and Go then to with, sleep, George. <laughs> <laughs> with uh, all of you then sleeping for the night and gathering and ready to branch out to scout out the green, the gray scales, and go hunting for the mm -hmm. orb. That's where we're going to end tonight. I see you cut down the tree without me, boss. So <laughs> I take it nothing happened then as I was inspecting people. Nothing. Um, you are starting to inspect people, but this is still just one evening. All right. So, what has been found? Not everyone, uh, like everyone, was just present for that meeting. The hammer called everyone back in. The guy, and so you're like watching everyone. This is one of those like rare times that everyone is literally present. So you're going to be watching out from this moment on, if that makes sense. All right. So you were looking to see what the, how they were reacting, um, and we will get to that next week as well. I have some notes to to to, to share with you that we'll we'll be able to go. So. Oh no. 